thing that I never posted on Tumblr about it because I didn't really want to talk about it with anyone, you know, if no one else has a business. And also people would react badly to it. I stopped wearing hijab for a long time. I didn't wear hijab for six months, five months, because, you know, I had worn it pretty pretty steadily and I had been pretty pretty good about wearing it. And um, But people kept turning hijabis into these, these, these pillars of Islam. <laughs> You know, look up these hijabis, they're so good, you know. They do all this good stuff, and at the time, I was like, no, dude, I, you know, I, I, I used to drink. Like, I used to drink alcohol. Um, so again, I'm not, I would definitely never post about that, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna advertise my sins, but it's, no, I wasn't, I wasn't someone you should look up to. Hijab does not indicate your love of Iman. <laughs> again, you know, guys, guys seem to think, you know, and uh, everyone, everyone seems to think that if you're, if you're wearing hijab, you're obviously a perfect Muslim. But they also make it, if you wear hijab, you have to be. I mean, a girl in hijab, this, one of the guys actually told me this, since I'm wearing hijab, I'm not allowed to do all this stuff, you know, I'm not allowed to kiss a boy, I'm not allowed to, like, talk loudly in public, I'm not allowed to, like, laugh too loudly, I'm not allowed to, like, do all these things because I'm wearing hijab. And, you know, and there's all these your sisters who are going to be telling you, you know, you're wearing your job wrong, you know, to wrap it this way, you have to cover your chest perfectly, all the way down to your knees, like, you have to cover your neck, your ears, like, sister, your ears are showing, uh, sucks a lot, you know, sister, you know. <laughs> it's just, it drives me crazy, I'm going, I'm going crazy here, and it's making me angry with God, I mean, this is, this is hurting my relationship with God, so why are you guys doing this? I don't understand. I mean, I can understand if with yourself you're saying, okay, I want to cover my ears, I want to I want to do this because this is my hijab and this is, this is my choices. And I understand if you say to another sister, you know, I think that you're um, in private, I think your hijab, you know, um, is, is a little immodest, you know, these are the reasons why, but I understand if you don't want to cover, you know, Correcting is part of Islam, you know, gentle correction. It's not like, oh, it's none of your business. Because forcing someone to do it is none of your business. But but telling them your your thoughts and your, if they're backed up by actual Quran, not just culture, then yes, I think that it's good to talk about, you know, the fact that, you know, and the Quran says it does, it does say you cover your bosom. Whether that means you have to cover your boss with an awesome scarf, that's not someone's business. That's, that's, your, that's your choice to make. You know, sister, your hijab is your choice. Make informed decisions. I'm not saying don't make informed decisions. But don't follow what culture's telling you. It's, uh drives me crazy. I just, okay, this, is, this has been like six minutes now. I think that's long enough of my ranting. Um, but assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi um, yeah, I didn't say the beginning. <laughs> I was just so angry. I mean, it's 6.30 a.m. I hadn't slept. I've been lying in bed just fuming about all this stupid stuff in my life. Uh, playing Angry Birds. Uh, fuming about this stupid stuff in my life. <laughs> so yeah, okay. This has been a video. Um, salam. Um... I hope you guys don't think I'm too angsty for this. It just, I needed to get it off my chest. Uh, Alright.